welcome to another episode of Be Well Live. So it's the last, the live one of the summer semester. Yay! Uh, we'll be back live sometime in September. Uh, I'll be getting reposts for a couple of weeks as we all kind of just get ready for that fall um, semester. So welcome. My name is Kim and I'm the fitness coordinator for Seneca York. And today I'm going to help you get organized for that fall semester. So this is something you can do using stuff that's around the house or stuff that's easy to get. Um, and it's kind of like a craft, which is awesome, but also it's going to be a calendar. So that way you can get yourself, like I said, organized for the fall semester, um, or just organized in life as well. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make a paint swatch or paint chip calendar. Um, those of you that don't know what paint chips are, you can actually go to any of the home renovation stores like Home Depot, Rona, Lowe's, and you can get these things and they're just different colors of paint and people use them for their walls. You can even go to the paint stores and get them. Um, they don't cost anything because they're just flimsy pieces of paper and they have different gradients of different colors. Um, so these are just some of the ones that I've picked up from, um, actually I went to Rona. I know Home Depot has the big solid ones, um, so you would have to pick up 31 of them. Um, and these are just a strip of four, which makes it really nice because you just kind of grab about seven of them to make up the weeks and then you just make up those extra days just like a regular calendar would as well. So with the paint swatches, that's what you need. You need a picture frame. Um, so you can use an old one at home. You can pick one up really cheap at Dollarama or the Dollar Tree. You need some glue, you need a marker or a Sharpie, and you need a dry erase marker as well. Maybe some scissors and some tape to get started. So the other thing is some very colorful paper for the background. So you don't have to use many different colors. You can just put it on a white background if you want, depending on the color of paint chips that you get. You can use a black background and you can use um, white marker to write the days on it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do this really cool and really quick calendar. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a backing down. So I'm just going to black for this just as a demonstration that way you can see it so you're gonna fit it to your picture frame make sure you've taken the glass out all right so there you go you got your back your black background and then you're gonna take the paint chips these one are multicolored. I just picked up a whole bunch of them because I was actually looking to do some painting too and you're going to align them you may have to use some tape to hold them down I would suggest painters tape that way it doesn't wreck your paper background and it also doesn't wreck the paint chips as well as you're pulling it up that's why it's called painters tape and it's available where all the paint stuff all the paint chips are so I am going to use because I have two yellows for the weekends apparently and we're going to get it. The other thing you can do is you can cut off the bottom where it says Benjamin Moore if you like. It does have some writing on it because it tells you what color it is which is kind of cool and unique as well. So there you go. There's the weekends and then I'm going to fill in the rest of the days. Let's make Mondays pink because everyone doesn't like Mondays. Wednesdays will go for a purple because you know Wednesday's in the middle of the week and then Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And my little picture frame is actually a little bit too small. So what I've did on the one that's finished is I've actually trimmed the paint chips um, down the side just to make sure all the days fit. And then there's a clear uh, space between them. This one works out really nice because they are different colors. And then what you do is once you get them spaced out, you're going to glue them down. You can tape them down if you want, but glue is a little bit more permanent. And there you go. You've got the bases of your calendar with the separate days. And at the top of it, with the white marker in this case, you would write the days. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If you are one of those people that goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you can make your calendar that way as well. I personally, those calendars throw me off because we don't usually use them too much. And that's where you would write your day there. That way it's permanent because the days of the week do not change. And then from there, now that it's all glued down, you're going to put the glass on top of it and you're actually going to frame it. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to flip it over and there's a demonstration of what it looks like. So it's got the different color gradients, which is really, really cool. So the lighter green all the way down to the darker green as we get through the month. And then you see your days at the top, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 
I know my days in my week. Isn't that awesome? And then now that your calendar is kind of finished, the best thing about it is, is now a dry erase calendar that you don't have to make 12 of them. You can recycle it, you can reuse it by, use, by using your wet, your sorry, your dry erase marker. And we are going to make this one for September so I can be fancy. And I can write September across the top with my uh, wet, dry erase, wet erase, dry erase marker. And now I can fill in the days. So September 1st is a Wednesday, Thursday is the second, Friday's the third, fourth, so on. And go down here for the fifth. I'm really showing you my talent of writing numbers upside down. Those might actually be backwards now because I can't see it, but I'll show up nice and for you guys. In September all the way down through until you have all the days there. And the best thing is when it comes to October, all you have to do is wipe that off with a cloth and then you can start over again, writing October and figuring out those dates. Um, with the dry erase markers, you can put all your assignments in there. So say we have an exam on, oops. <laughs> used to be better at writing upside down exam on September 1st, right before school starts. And once again, that can get wiped off as well, so it's not permanent. So there you go. There is your very own paint swatch calendar that you can make at home. I know you're thinking, why don't I just buy one? Um, but that's not fun because then you don't get to make it. Um, <laughs> this is, like I said, it's a really cool craft to do and get to exploring those paint chips as well um, and stuff that you can use around the house. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone has a great rest of the summer um, and we will see you again in September. Take care everyone. Have a great day.